name is Shashudu Chakravarti. I have been placed in IMC Logistics, which arrived in our college in October. Initially, the round work consisted of an online test conducted by Nokri.com, and then after that, after I qualified the test with a 50% aggregate, I was called up to Chennai. I did have to miss the Durga Puja holidays for that, but it was worthwhile, so I was getting placed. Uh, my tips to everyone watching this is that make up your mind, decide early on that what you want to do, whether you want to go, on, whether you want to, go to software companies or you want to be placed in course and maintain your grades accordingly. At the end, coming at to seventh semester and deciding a company is not going to help. And secondly, since in our college, uh, core companies arriving is not a very big trend. Generally, software comp we are flooded with software companies. So people with uh, not so much great grades and marks and you know, school, uh, school percentages, I would suggest that you take up a software job first. It will be wise to do that unless you want to wait a lot, wait out a lot. And might happen that core companies might not arrive. Uh, when I was informed of the online test, so I had decided that I need to get a code job since there was no assurance of whether another company is going to arrive in a company or not. So in the morning I arrived, I stay in Kolkata and my college, uh, I arrived in the morning and I sat for the test. Now in terms of preparation for the aptitude exam or the initial online examination, I was preparing for CAT. It helped me out in the aptitude section a lot as the general consensus was that the initial online test was very hard. And frankly speaking, it was. It was quite hard. It was very lengthy. Uh, the logical reasoning parts were exceptionally lengthy in my turn. And after that, I came to know after two days that I had qualified the exam and that I had been moving to Chennai within two days for the interview. Now this for everyone out there, I'm telling you if you are sitting for IMC, be prepared. They are going to give an abrupt time for you to arrive there and you have to manage, you have to go there. Now the, during the, after the journey of uh, over 28 hours, I reached Chennai. And I was late for my interview as well. I was late by more than three hours. As well. On arriving at the interview center, you know, I had a general notion that core interviews are supposed to be very tough. People are going to demand a lot and they're going to be very strict. But however, I found that it was not so. They were very warm to, towards me at least. And all the other people present there for the interviews who had made it uh, in the first round, they were very cordial, they were very punctual as well and they had also considered that a lot of us were late. So they actually extended the interview time for us. And I was called up for my interview at 7.30 in the evening. From 7.30 my interview spanned over 40 minutes. I first initially faced a single HR individual who clarified some of the facts that I had uh, disclosed in my documents. After that, I faced a technical and HR combined panel where I was asked questions. Now, there's a thing regarding core engineering students, core engineering branches that you are asked about your favorite subject. Now, in my, in my department, chemical engineering, I know the trending favorite subjects are fluid, CRE and heat, the safe ones. However, I chose to, stand, I chose to say safety. As I, as I knew, the general trend at this moment is safety is a very big deal at the moment. So I told safety and they were very amused and they were happy as well because from my point of view and all the industries I've visited as a trainee, as an auditor, I have seen that there's one thing about you knowing something technical which you can go and tell in a company but most of the time they're not going to hear of it because they have been doing it for a long time. However, if you select safety as a subject, at least the recruiter is aware that you are not going to muck up something on yourself and you are not going to create a hazardous situation for everyone. So I think that played in my favor and then I was asked a simple question of uh, where to run when gas is leaking and I told them as I have heard of it earlier. And after that, they, most of the HR question included was that what was my hobby, what did I do in my free time, which is the same question but they asked it twice and the next thing I am going to tell you that as you can see from the video, hopefully I'm very fat, okay. And this thing came up when I had to meet the general manager of the company. So he actually asked me that I was very fat, so how was I supposed to climb stairs and, you know, take a very heavy workload. Now my point to everyone is that this moment is this, don't take offense if someone tells you that, okay. No one is there to insult you. The guys who are recruiting you, they're not, not sitting there for over so many hours that they're going to sit there for their amusement. If they want amusement, they can go out, you know, have lunch and all that. They're not going to insult you. If they ask a question, try to be very frank. And if they are smiling at you, please smile back. 
don't say it as if somebody has said something very insulting and you, you know become very grumpy so don't take offense be light hearted at the moment and be cordial and dress very properly please it was like you know when i saw my review form it was written the guy the hr the, the one person that checked me out first he wrote very smartly dressed okay so that's a very big factor that goes in your favor and about uh, you know showing certificates and everything unless you ask for it don't show it and don't mention unnecessary achievements what you have done in college if it's not a national level competition don't because they're not going to care and second of all about your academics if they ask you something why did you flaw why did you have a flaw why your marks uh, came down in some exam be honest about it tell that you were unable to study you are out of focus you are something distraught don't give lame excuses like you are sick and you had something someone had died because those things are common and those happen and that's not necessarily mean that you were missing exams because someone is dead <coughs> and apart from your everything they have asked you if you want to add anything else <coughs> don't be very you know what can i say very inquisitive about the job because the thing most of the guys with you going to get is you're going to get a gt or a mt like a management trainee or a graduate engineering trainee so don't try to be very inquisitive about the job description is because for the first year, year during training your main job will be just stick to it as my company has mentioned just whatever they're going to tell me i have to do and but you might clarify something like about your accommodation what they're going to pay you and all that and now the pay now how much should you be paid so I think most of the people, most of the times, think that they're being underpaid. But trust me, if you are an engineer, you are a B Tech engineer, and you are being placed, your main aim should be for at least for first one or two years, you should aim for gaining experience because pay is a different, it's a very relative thing. You might be provided very good facilities, the pay might not be good. You might be provided pathetic facilities, but the pay might be bad. Whatever be it, experience should be your main aim, and if you're getting placed, just take it wholeheartedly and. and remember also the fact that if you go and join a company it's going to be not only beneficial for you but also the juniors of your college because if you perform nicely there there's a chance they might get recruited as well so think about a lot of factors it's not binding i know the college might make it sometimes binding for you to sit in an interview and if you are being forced to sit and sit in any interviews like i was forced to sit on webro like don't go and start a ruckus with the college authorities and no you're not going to sit okay just go sit there and you know everyone can control whether they're being going to be selected or not it's not a big deal so you can very well skip that during that part but don't go in front of the training and placement office and start like saying that no i won't join this i won't sit for this it creates a bad impression for the college that's it okay best of luck to everyone all my juniors and even whoever batchmates are going to watch this and please If you think this video is a bit helpful like the video subscribe to the page thank you a lot guys uh, signing off